Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we were straight up attacked by Mr. Scratch, who has revealed himself to be the one on Earth. Yako died in the process, and now we're talking to Ilmo about the cult. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. Oh. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just a name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Huh. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. That she makes a ton of sense. Why go after Alan Wake? You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger Scratch is the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. Voy V2. I wonder what that means. Is that a leaf? Oh, what the hell. I want you to know that I'm reading this directly off of a, a Google result. V2 can be directly translated to pussy or cunt. <laughs> It, it is used to express frustration or to emphasize a sentence, and it is heard a lot as voy v2, with the meaning of oh crap, too. Huh. Oh crap, yeah. Yeah. Yeah! I don't think I'd be handling it well if my brother was fucking murdered right in front of me by a supernatural entity. Oh, all the other bodies are covered in blankets now, too. And, uh, I know that the... Satana. Old Scratch. Satan. Well, let's profile something. We've got profiling on the Koskelas. Killing Taken. Elmo said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the taken. We're on the same side. If I said it, if I use one of the other ones, do I still hear Yako? The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never failed to amuse me. Yep. Now we know, Ilmo, there is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the Moose Skull mask is. Huh. Nightingale came back. I wonder if that has to do with anything now. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Oh dear. What do we got here? The Cult of the Tree. Nightingale was already taken. Cult's ritual would have stopped him, but it was interrupted. Nightingale only victim to become a monster. Why? 
cult ritual failed to destroy Nightingale because the Boogers interrupted it. Yeah, cultists know about the ritual being interrupted. This confirms the ritual was interrupted. It says they didn't have time to use the clicker. Nightingale's ritual was the only one interrupted. That's why he was the only taken among the cult victims. Huh. I would like to point out that exactly... I know of exactly one good thing that has come out of that lake. Uh, after Alan essentially sacrifices himself at the end of the first game, Alice gets spat back out, safe and sound. Oh, yes, and there were others. Ilmo, he's never heard of Scratch. That's bad. Uh, who's involved? Hornode and Anderson. Why do they... Maybe cult... Why do they want to kill Wake? No. Cult goal? No, no. Well, it's got to be on this one, somehow. No. Writing part of ritual? <clears throat> cult working for with someone? Cult wasn't working for with Wake or... With Wake or Scratch operating on their own. It says here, it doesn't seem like a cult has any connection to Scratch. Uh, Elmo, the cult found Wake's pages inside taken and believed he was the cause. Cult thinks Wake is responsible for taken, believes killing him will stop this. I can't exactly fault their logic here. They found the pages inside? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories oh. are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Where's the other stuff? They cut his heart out, but they didn't take the pages. Ilmo, the cult of the tree targeted people already corrupted by the Dark Presence. Their goal was to protect the community. Cult of the tree kills taken to protect Bright Falls and Watery. The cult's intentions were good, even if they weren't seeing the full picture. Case closed. Oh, and it's Ilmo touching uh, the, the Yako body. The Cult of the Tree is just the Cascella Brothers' slightly misguided solution to the Taken problem. The Cult of the Tree was being run by the Cascella Brothers. They served as a sort of neighborhood watch against the Taken, not the bad guys here. Ritual was meant to destroy Taken, not create them. Cult Ritual, what is it? Purpose of Cult Ritual was to kill Taken. So Nightingale was taken from the start. The cult couldn't finish the job because they were interrupted. Oh, very ominous. Well, I'll leave him alone for the time being. Uh... Right, yes, the file's in the cell. Uh, this is the kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. <sighs> That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. That's verging on wife bad humor, but they are talking about their exes, so I'll allow it. Fine. Let me guess. It's this one. Use this old timey key. Okay, where do I start? On the left, I guess. Transcript of interview with subject Alan Wake, suspected para utilitarian. Location Bright Falls, Washington. Interviewer Kieran Estevez, lead agent. That's Kieran K I R A N, Justin. K.E. 
Mr. Wake, you have been taken into FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date, but for now we need to know if there is anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel, anything we may need to know. A.W. There is a force here you don't understand, a presence. It's after me. It wants to consume me. Consume everything. Yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. Why does it want you? It feeds on artists, on the art they create. It wants me because of my writing. But it can be any form of art, any artistic expression. Music, painting, film, photography. It can feed on any of it. All of it. You have to believe me. We are well aware of this entity, Mr. Wake. We've been tracking the situation here for a long time now. You yourself have been on our radar for over a decade. I'm sure those nuts in the research department are just going to love checking you out. Hey, make a note to redact that before submission. Let's get back to on track. You mentioned a light switch earlier. Where is it now? I don't know, but I need it. I can't end this without it. I see what you did there. Will you help me get it? Mr. Wake, you are in custody pending charges for breaching of numerous federal violation codes. We are not going to give you a suspected paranatural ob object. You're not, expletive, listening to me! We are listening just fine. Now, do you have any accomplices? Expletive you! Let me the expletive out of here! It's coming for me! We're all in danger! Interview is terminated due to subject being uncooperative. Is that the only one there, or...? Oh, I can read this other one. Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. Report Supplement. Re the Shadow. Summary. Through extensive interviews with witnesses of AWE-35, additional details regarding the Shadow, A-010, that's a new designation, have been re discovered. Redacted and redacted, both present during the AWE, reported seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is a former actress and Bright Falls resident who emigrated to the filmmaker Thomas Zane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake during a redacted AWE in 1970. Research staff have concluded that Jagger's appearance is likely a case of the shadow manifesting in human form. Research is ongoing as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and the psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic. That's a hell of a sentence. Don't try harder, do harder, says my laws and trapper. Current hypotheses are A. The shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangentially involved in the creation of art who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. B. The shadow can manifest as any individual contained, definition needed, within Cauldron Lake. Re research is actively ongoing. See file 38-453-1873 for full report. Wake in the clicker. FPC file, Dark Presence assumed the form of Barbara Jagger. I guess scratch or wake. I need to know what information I can still trust. Scratch pretended to be wake, used us. For how long? The whole time? Can anything wake said be trusted? So this isn't the first time the Dark Presence has stolen someone's form. Clicker still useful? It showed me I got a new thing with Tor's face on it, but I don't see where it goes. I don't even see a clue like that, unless it's one of these other ones not yet. Ooh, ooh, frame rate drop right there. The lake is a gateway to the dark place. They really should let me read it before, you know, Saga gives her conclusions. I'm just saying. Deployment order. Urgent situation. At approximately 1900 hours on September 13th, 2023, readings from a remote surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake, a known threshold to what researchers theorize is the origin dimension of A-040, the shadow. Wait. This one refers to the shadow as A-010. Ahem. 
Uh, yes, that's right. They incorrectly theorize that it's the origin dimension of the shadow as opposed to just its prison. Uh... Oh, yes, readings past acceptable limits. Attempts to contact FBC Research Facility WA-03, codename The Lake House, were unsuccessful. On-site event verification is not possible. Response procedures are initiated with immediate effect. Lead Agent K. Estevez will mobilize Investigation Unit Beta from the remote operation site at Redacted. All available Shadow-specific equipment, Lot 4-11B, has been approved for use in the field. Objectives to confirm an active event. If an active AWE is occurring, the dispatch team will identify its nature and severity, limit exposure, and attempt to contain or neutralize the source. If no event is active, check monitoring equipment, perform a limited profile sweep of the area, and check status of the lake house and its staff. Hmm. Additional information relevant to operatives in the area include the Cult of the Tree, Redacted, and Alan Wake currently missing. Huh. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Item classification request number 194-F. Summary of findings. Description slash para-utilitarian. Oh, it's one of these, uh, uh, file things on the, uh, the, the artifacts. Just missing the photo. Uh, description slash para-utility. Para Based on reports, the item is a light switch from a lamp cord, with part of the severed cord still attached. Eyewitness accounts suggest that the item possesses the ability to alter reality, the changes being based on redacted when used by a capable para-utilitarian. Parsing this item's effect from that of the Cauldron Lake Threshold, responsible for... Uh, sorry. Uh, parsing this item's effect from that of the Cauldron Lake Threshold, responsible for recurring AWEs in the area is difficult, because the only reported uses of the item have occurred near this threshold. Without more data, we cannot confirm if the item intensifies the effect of the threshold, or vice versa, or if there is no connection whatsoever. Recorded material from Dr. Hartman, after becoming a redacted, have revealed that Alan Wake eliminated Barbara Jagger, likely a physical manifestation of a redacted, by inserting the light switch into its chest and, quote, flicking the switch. I don't know why they put that in quotes. The item is confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fictional writing into reality. See file AWE-35. However, it is unclear what the uh, restrictions and limitations of this effect are. Conclusion. The light switch is a possible OOP, object of power, but the team cannot conclusively classify the item based on second-hand accounts. Proper examination and testing is required in order to determine classification and precise effect of the item. More clues. FBC file on the clicker and its paranatural qualities. The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. A light switch with supernatural powers must be used with art to amplify reality changing effect. Uh, the FEC speculates that the clicker can only be used by a, quote, capable para-utilitarian. Does that mean Ilmo is a para-utilitarian if he's been using it to kill the Taken? Oh, wait. FEC file on capabilities of light switch object, the ca the clicker. Clicker still useful. According to the file, Wake has used the clicker to change reality before. FEC file on Cauldron Lake, threshold to another reality. Maybe how to rescue Wake. Yep. Wake's in the dark place, and Cauldron Lake is the threshold to it. I guess threshold is their term for overlap, because that's basically the same way they used it. It's a place where the effects of one reality spill over into this one. I don't see any other files in here that I can look at. You know what? As much as I don't like this back lot right now...
Oh, hey, there's a... There's people there. They're just standing around. That guy's got his phone out. You guys weren't watching during that fight, were you? Uh, because, uh... As a deputy of the Federal Bureau of Control, I assure you this is all classified. Oh, it's a containment cube, yes. Gotta be. I mean, granted, they were usually collecting objects in there in control. Ah, I thought there were things back here. Elephant bullets, not gonna say no. Where the hell? I mean, I, I can't check right now because I'm too close to the station, but there should be a back lot with a, uh, an entrance into it. Oh, maybe if I go here. No, I can't get past that car. Oh, yeah, fuck, I meant to go check on that uh, thing in the basement, didn't I? Something popped into my head in the middle of a conversation, maybe the trick to uh, sol solving it. But I guess I'll probably have to wait for the, uh, the next exciting episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. Oh, well, I can open that, I remember that. I like that if you hit A twice quickly, it doesn't just cut out the rest of the animation for, like, you know, bending down to get the, the first item. She just reaches out and grabs the second item while she's still squatted down. I guess I was probably seeing one of those things, huh? Come to think of it, there were a bunch of uh, these red cubes here. You could never turn them on in control. You just find the ones that are already on and use uh, Jesse's telekinesis to carry them around and stick them in the slots of machines that need them. Oh yes, uh, I'll just get back out of the rain. I'm Burning Dog Face, and... Uh, I'll see you next time on Alan Wake 2 when we continue with our hopefully not fruitless uh, struggle against the dark and see if I can open that box in the basement. Till then, have yourselves a great day and stay in the light.